was 40 in 1930 for the season. He's the 11th manager let go since the start of the year. Last season, Council Bluff St. Albert's finished four and five, but missed the state playoffs. This year, the Falcons appear headed back to the states. This week, they are our KMTV KFC Team of the Week. The Falcons have run off six wins to open the 1991 football season. Head coach Marshall Skyshalone is in his 12th season at St. Albert. John Glenn has a closer look at the Falcons in this report. We're taking inside rush every time, and Scott, you're taking that outside. The rest of us are rolling. Only one other St. Albert team has had this kind of rush at the beginning of the season. The Falcons 6-0 start starts with the upperclassmen. During the offseason, we're all you know, lifting weights and everything. Everybody wanted to have a big senior season because, I mean, our 8th grade year, we had a lot of people out for 8th uh, grade, and everybody just sticked out with all the seniors, and, and all the seniors want this. The strength of the team lies up front, the fourth three backs who can move, including quarterback Jeremy Kroll, who has thrown for over 400 yards while hitting 58% of his passes. I was all running back for average and over four something per carry, so I think, you know, that's a testimony, not just to them, but to the guys up front of them. Now, even though St. Albert is in Council Bluffs, the Falcons still play football in the Nebraska Centennial Conference. But despite having conference affiliation across the river, St. Albert is still eligible for the Iowa State Playoffs. Well, we've uh, looked at different leagues throughout the years uh, as far as Iowa leagues to get into, and we've never seen to settle in anything over here. Uh, then we settled in as the, the Nebraska schools, the Catholic uh, schools, you know, and uh, we like the competition. The competition has been excellent, obviously. Uh, but no matter what the competition, the Falcons want to win. That's been fun. I mean, everybody's fired up for it. Everybody just wants us to do get and keep winning. St. Albert High School, our KM3 KFC Team of the Week. John Glenn, New Center 3 at 6. Here's a look at our Fab Five this week, and it remains the same as it's been for the last three weeks. Creighton Prep 5-0, followed by Grand Island. You know, you think about the Pena La Vista's offense, but... The Monarchs have allowed just nine points in five games. They have four shutouts. Bellevue East is four. Omaha North and West Side at four and one, number five. Former Husker linebacker Jeff Mueller.